My name is Randy Weldon. My wife, Kathy Ann Weldon, lost her life. I lost the love of my life to COVID-19. Kathy was a wonderful person. She was not outgoing. She was kind of timid, but once you got to know her, she was so much fun. She was a loving mother. She was a loving grandmother. What can I say? She was a loving wife. She really loved teaching kids. She loved her grandchildren. We had 11 grandkids combined. They were the loves of her life. Kathy was a very intelligent woman. A lot of people said she was the smartest woman they ever knew. And I said that myself. She is the smartest woman I've ever known. She's helped so many people figuring out what ailed them. And not just a cold or a cough, but like autoimmune diseases. She loved her work. She was a medical technologist at our local hospital. May of 2000, she became manager of the laboratory and she helped get their laboratory back up in a good running condition. And Kathy was a very dedicated employee. Kathy would cover people's shifts on holidays. She just felt that she needed to get in there and work and help the employees out. And then when our daughter graduated high school, we were empty nesters. She still continued to work holidays, Thanksgiving, uh, Christmas, uh, so that other people that had children could enjoy their holidays at home with their kids. And we would make that for it later. <laughs> The first time I saw Kathy, she was working in the lab and I was working, I was an EMT. And so I walked around to different departments to talk to people, you know, cause I like talking to people. I make them laugh and take, take their minds off things. But I walked into the lab and Kathy was sitting at a chair, looking into a microscope and her eyes were just going crazy, going like this, just as fast as they could go. And I found out later that she does that so that she can see everything that's in the field of view of the microscope. It just astonished me that she was, you know, that sharp, that she could see everything. She could see things that other people might miss in the microscope. And that put her under my microscope. I started looking closer at her and uh, you know what? I chased her and I got her. <laughs> Kathy was the love of my life. It's really hard losing her. I know I come into this house and we've only lived here about a year and a half. And we had already made, made memories here. And this spring we finished uh, a sunroom out on our back deck. She's not gonna be here to enjoy it with me. Kathy and I both came down with COVID uh, about the same time, early to mid-December. It didn't really bother me, but it affected her lungs. She was coughing really bad, and so we took her to the hospital. You know, this is a very difficult situation to be in um, when you've been married or been partners with someone for so long and they're gone suddenly and, and you're faced with, with all this, you know, the life stuff, the life stuff that was happening to you when your partner was there. Well, you're doing it by yourself now. And you think to yourself, you know, I, I, I don't know if I can do this you need to reach out because there are people that will help you. I checked in our area and I found a counselor. It's it's not going to make the pain go away. That's never going to go away, you know, but it will help me deal with, with Kathy not being here. 
I urge you to uh, seek that help out. Don't try and carry it alone. 